Welcome to Mark's Motorsports and Farming Channel. Today I'm going to do a update on the bin fan. And as you can see, we we did do some work on it, and just got done mounting it onto the bin where the corn is stored in. Um, so. And somewhere inside here, there, there was there was some uh, electrical issues with this. Basically, someplace inside. Yeah, I don't know if I can zoom close enough or not to. Yeah, there's stuff that's taped up in the very back. This is what I was trying to show, but I guess the camera didn't seem to catch the detail I was hoping to. So, plug this in and see if it works. We have a rambunctious cat here too. It's hang, been hanging on me the hanging on me the whole time I've been working on this fan. Open the main door on the on the bin that's mounted on. Help it along a little bit more. And try to to try and get the hair flowing through. Still a little leftovers from the that's basically an ugly storm that we had. And we've had some strong winds here and bent this rod that I've been using to hold it open. Yeah, the rod's not as effective as it was before, but it does still hold somewhat. Um, you know, that's what we, can, what we can do about bending that straight. Yeah, the, the idea here. I think I might have said it in at least one of the other videos I, I did on this, but I'll say it again just to be sure. The idea is, you know, that th this corn was a couple points too wet to safely store. So, so what we're trying to do is pull the pull some cooler air in, you know, and then and then the and then the fan that I just plugged in and that you still here it's supposed to it's supposed to pull the heat out of the corn 
he also floods, and then it'll basically be safe to store because you know when when you pull the pull the heat out and cool air in, you know, then then later on when when we start getting the warmer out outside temps here, you know that that natural heat then will 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 allow the moisture level in the corn to drop a little bit to where it can be stored safely. So there you go. We actually have a working bin fan now that that we know is effective. Uh, should technically maybe maybe have a you know something a little bit bigger that that we don't where we don't have to use the plywood to adapt it. You know that might be a little bit more aggressive. I I don't know that for sure. But that, but what what you saw at the beginning of the video is, is what we have, so we're using it. You do have electric issues happen from time to time. Uh, that that, that fan's we've been using that fan for many many years. You know, so it's got some age to it, but we've but so far if we've been able to keep it going. So there, you, so there you go. We got a working fan, and now on, on a little side note, uh, some of the other channels have have done live streaming, you know, live on YouTube basically. And then I did look into that and. Yeah, YouTube does, for some reason, have this stupid rule that that you cannot live stream from a mobile a mobile device with less than a thousand subscriptions. I don't know why they did that, but kind of screws a few of us up. You know, that, that don't have that many dis that don't have that many subscriptions yet. So as of now, the only thing I could do would be, you know, more of a Q&A type of live stream from from my computer, which I don't know if I will or not. I don't know if I'll set that up or not for, to do that type of thing. But, but yeah, it would be a lot better if, if I could do it. If I could do it from a mobile mobile device, you know, I'd hold my hold my phone out in the cab of the tractor or or in the pits of a tractor pull or something and you know, do a live stream, you know, where where there's some sort of activity happen happening and rather than just you know sitting inside the house or something, you know, doing a Q and A which I guess a a few a few channels have have done it that way already, but I was hoping to, you know, we'd be out and about, you know, either in the field or, like I said, either in the field or or in the pits of a or in the pits at a tractor pull or you know, pit area, you know, and you know. There, there could still be the Q and A element by doing that, but but yet I but yet I actually be able to show you something. But like I say, for some reason, YouTube won't, won't let won't let you do that with less than a thousand subscriptions. Which there again, I I don't know why that is, but that's the rule. So. I guess I, I wouldn't even know who to who to uh, approach about that with you know, 
emailing them or something like that, you know, to see what their reasoning was, was, and, you know, if they, if they could change that so, so that there's, so that they're, so that they don't have the subscription restriction like that, but, uh, I guess, meanwhile, it is what it is, you know, and, and as of now, I, I can't, I, I would not be able to do a live stream from, from a mobile, mobile device, so, it's, like I say, I, I certainly don't like that, because that's what I was, you know, look into doing it or why I was looking into it is like I said, I don't want to be doing it, you know from my from my phone basically. You know, so so that I could still be, you know, showing you guys something, you know, even even while I'm doing that. But, uh, I guess if, if you guys think that I should still set it up and just do a Q&A from inside the house or something like that, uh, just leave me a comment below because I, I could still, you know, set up live stream and, and do it from my computer. But, but until I reach a thousand subscriptions, I cannot do it from a mobile device as it stands now. So, thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And then, once you subscribe, then then you could click the little bell icon off, off to the right of, of the subscribe button there and and get a notification when whenever I post a new video you know, by, by clicking that button. So So thank you thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and catch you later.